Kanak Sun Temple is located in Odisha, India. Kanak saw the first rays of the sun at this place, hence the temple was erected at this place. Chandrabhaga River was next to the temple. Maharana Vishnu built this temple as a replica. And King Narasiva Dev started the construction of this temple. The Kunak temple was modeled after the chariot of the sun god. The seven horses of the sun god are pulling the chariot. The deity of this temple is Sunya. The temple is divided into three parts, the first part is Nat Mandra, Jack Muin and Main Mandra. Temples were gradually enlarged from small ones. From a distance, it looks like an inverted pyramid. This temple is completely made of sandstone. It took 12 years and 1,200 craftsmen to build the temple. The temple was built, an iron plate was fixed on the stone blocks. A 52-ton magnet was placed on top of the temple. The balance of the temple was due to the attraction of the magnet. Due to the attraction of this magnet, the sun god idol was seen floating in the air. This temple is one of the last temple of Brahmanical era. Then came the Muslim rule, which stopped the tradition of building new temples for a long time. The original temple was 225 feet high. The sculptures of Konak were skillfully done by the artists of that time, not only sculptures but also presented incredible subjects of science. If we look at the wall sculptures, it can be seen that the three life processes of childhood, youth and old age are highlighted. A closer look at the lower parts of the wall reveals carvings of elephants, birds, flowers, foliage eh? And just above one notices a rich youth scene, depicting the youth of the dancers, through dancers of various sizes. Old age is depicted in various forms of sacrifice, indulgence through such relief sculptures. The artists demonstrated the power of artistic observation to create sculptures with extreme skill in engraving. These idols are not equal in size with each other. The smallest figure is seen on the wheel of the chariot. There are 24 wheels engraved with 7 turns of Kunak where time, minutes and seconds can be set on the wheels. These wheels are 10 feet above the ground. If you see the entire temple from a distance, it will seem like the sun god is driving a horse chariot. Next to this temple, and some idols carved in solid stone can be seen enshrined in the Vidi. In one of these, elephants are seen running with people in tune. Dick seems to have recognized the artist's observation and skillful silatism. The ornamentation on the idols and the figure of the dancer are similar to those of Kajura and Mehaboliparam. It is absolutely impossible to make this idol without proper observation. One of the sculptured deities is seen on the temple facade of King Narasiva Dev worshipping Jagannath. Only this plaque is decorated in a loco style which is similar to the Patachitra of Arusa. The entire sculptures are cut in sandstone, and the main idol and dedication plaque are cut in black granite. The chief artist craftsman could not erect the pinnacle of the temple. So the king said if they couldn't they would be put to death. Then Dhammapada, the son of Vishnu Morana, the chief artist craftsman, built the top of this temple. And later he jumped into the river and died. The temple was damaged many times due to foreign invasions. For some reason the magnet opened and the temple lost its balance, the temple was badly damaged. After all, the original temple was closed in 1903.